Okay guys, I got a 2022 Ford F-150. I'm gonna explain to you all of the buttons on here and how you use them and all of the cool features. Okay, so we'll start just over here. Um, this is the master switch. Obviously, roll down, I believe all of them, but the rear ones are automatic. So if you push all the way down, It'll go all the way down. Um, right here, if I press that button, now we can control this mirror right here, going up or down. And then if I press this button, we can control that mirror over there, going up or down. This button right here is the power fold button for the mirrors. So if I press it, it's going to fold the mirrors in. You can use that when you're parking or going through very tight spaces and then just press it again to unfold them. This button right here is the window lock. So that makes it so only you can control the windows. Um, passenger or the people in the rear cannot control it if that is enabled. Going over here, we have our door unlock, door lock buttons. And then we have our comfort settings right here. These control the seat the mirrors, the pedals down here, and the steering column if this is electric. This one isn't, this is manual, so it doesn't control that as well. So how you make this work, um, you can go down here to move your steering wheel around, or to move your seat around. Once you get it to the spot you want it, you press and hold this until it says memory one saved. And then you can only press this. It'll only work if you're in park neutral or if the vehicle is, um, if the engine isn't turned on. So if we press this one, I haven't set it yet. So let's set it really quick. Okay, so now those two are set. So one, press it and it goes and then two, so that's how that works. And now going down here, we have the automatic tailgate. So if you press this, um, you can see that tailgate back there. If we press it, it's gonna go down. And it says tailgate ajar. If we press it again, it'll come back up and retract. So you see it retracting right there. And that's how you use that one. Um, this button right here turns the light on. So I turn it on, turn it off. This one turns the light on on the other side view mirror over there. This right here turns a light on for the rear cab. So the exterior part of the cab. So it would be back here, but on the outside. So that would illuminate the bed. Um, this right here controls the lights. Right now we have it on automatic. You can turn it on full time for the headlights. Um, just the parking lamps on or you can just turn it off. I like to just keep it on automatic. And then these two buttons control the brightness um, inside. So we're going to turn it down or you can turn it up. So that controls the brightness on all of the interior lights. This right here controls the pedals down here, so we can move it forwards or backwards just by pressing these. And then this right here to put the parking brake on, you pull it like that and it's electronic parking brake. It'll say park brake on. And then to disable it, you just push it in. So pull it out to enable it, push it in to disable it. Okay, so now we're gonna do the steering wheel. Um, these buttons right here, if you press the menu, it's gonna control this right here, the speedometer. So we're gonna go back. Um, we can go down if I go to navigation. I can go menu to go back. So that's kind of the back button, up, down, okay. And then this is back. So that's how you work it. And then that just controls this right here. This button, if you're talking on the phone using the Bluetooth connect on this, 
you can end the conversation or hang up just by pressing this button and then these control the radio station over here by scrolling through the channels just by pressing that um, right or left this right here is completely for the cruise control this is the lane assist so you can turn it on or off lane keeping system is what it's called so you can turn it on turn it off um, that only works while you're doing cruise control the dynamic cruise control this button turns cruise control on or off and then while you're driving you can set it with this you can cancel set or go faster set or go slower um, this controls the volume for the radio, volume up, volume down, and then this, if you're getting a call through Bluetooth, you can answer the call with this, or you can speak and do voice control with this button. So if I press it, speak now, and uh, you can control it that way. Okay, going up to the roof controls. Um, this right here controls the rear mint window, so you can open it or close it. Close it by pushing down, opening it up by pulling it up. And when I say that, I mean this is down. If you pull it down and pushing it up, it's up. Um, this right here, turn this light on, turn it off, on, off. This right here, if you open the door, the interior lights won't come on. And if it's like that, um, it's not turned on. So if it's illuminated, that means when you open the doors, all the interior lights will stay off. And then this turns both of them on. Going over to here to the home link, that's how you set up your home link and you can open or close your garage doors with these if you program them and you'll have to use your garage door opener the actual system there's a button on it and that's how you do those coming over here this is your engine start stop button this right here is the automatic stop button what what this does is when you're driving and you come to a stop if this is on your engine will shut off and then once you start going again it'll turn back on if you want to turn it off you just press the button the off will illuminate and it says auto start stop deactivated by switch so that'll say it right there but you'll also see this um, right here this button um, goes to the camera setting of the vehicle so you'll be able to see the camera um, auto park brake ready you can turn that on or off and uh, you can also get a fuel full view um, depending on which setting you're on this right here is the hazard switch this is the hill descend switch um, that's good if you're going down a big hill and uh, what it does is it turns on the cruise control while you're going down the hill so you can go down it anywhere from two to 20 miles an hour. If you try to go any faster than that, it won't keep the, uh, the speed um, set. So it'll only really work if it's from two to 20 miles an hour. Um, this button right here turns on or off the traction control. Traction control helps to avoid drive wheel spin and or loss of friction. So what it does is it'll apply brakes to individual wheels when needed instead of those wheels spinning due to lack of traction. But <clears throat> if you're stuck in the snow, it may be best to switch it off because that allows the wheels to spin. So if I press this button, it'll go traction control off. If I press it again, it'll turn it back on. So that's how you turn on or off the traction control. <clears throat> this pro tra trailer, button right here this pro trailer button right here so 
if you press this button, you can add a trailer. We'll press add and we'll put the name of the trailer in here. And then you can figure out which type of trailer it is. And then from there, you can detect the trailer. And, and once you detect the trailer, it'll put it into the memory and it'll figure out how long it is and all that fun stuff. And then when you have the trailer, you can actually control the vehicle and which way the trailer goes by spinning this knob. I would recommend getting a trailer, hooking it up, and then reading the owner's manual while you figure this out because it is kind of interesting. And uh, obviously I don't have a trailer here, so I can't really show you how it works. So we'll turn that off. This button right here opens the glove console compartment. Okay, this right here is the integrated trailer brake controller. Um, what you do is you press these plus or minus and that changes the trailer gain. So once you have a trailer and then while you're driving, um, if you press this, it'll, it'll engage the trailer brakes. So while you're driving, if you want to engage the trailer brakes, you just go like this and obviously the further to the left you go, the more brakes it engages. And since we have the trailer disconnected, it doesn't work. Okay, down here, this is the drive mode um, dial and the drive mode buttons. So two-wheel drive high, that's for general on-road driving. Um, four high is, is it'll lock your four-wheel drive. It's for use in off-road or winter conditions, but not on drive dry pavement and it's for faster speeds um, for a which is four-wheel automatic it's an electronically controlled four-wheel drive power to both front and rear wheels as required so that just automates the four-wheel drive and then for four low um, it locks your four-wheel drive power to both front and rear wheels only for off-road conditions like deep sand, steep slopes, or pulling heavy objects. So also, to enable this, you want to bring your vehicle to speeds of 3 miles an hour or less, place the transmission in neutral, and then press the desired button. So that's how you um, do these four. Now the drive mode, um, we're going to push this, and over here, we can change what drive mode we want to go to. So sports for uh, more like quicker shifts, um, a little louder and better handling, uh, towing, hauling mode, eco mode, ecos, you know, you get better gas mileage. Acceleration is not as fast either. So that's how you do that. I'm just gonna leave it in eco mode. Okay, now we're gonna get to the climate control. Um, to turn the climate control off, press this button, turn on, press the button again, and then you can change the temperature just by playing around with this dial. This is the defroster for the front windshield, the defroster for the rear windshield. Um, this right here changes the air distribution. So you just press this button and then you can choose where you want it. Um, this is the auto, and you can control the fan speed as well with this up or down. This is the air recirculation, um, AC on or off, and then if you want to add the max AC, turn that on as well. Um, heated seats for the passenger, heated seats for the driver. And the more you press it, the lower it goes. And then this is your cooled or recirculated seats for the driver and passenger. Turn both of those off. Um, if you press this and it's dual, then passenger can choose what he wants or she wants while driver can choose what they want. I usually just turn this off. And this is for the radio. You can turn it on or off. I guess it's just a mute. And then this controls the volume. Um, this is the controls the sound settings. So if you press that, you get into the settings and you can choose what you want. 
this button right here changes the different audio inputs. So AM, FM, Sirius, in case cycles through those. This turns off the screen and turns it to this. Or you can turn it all the way off, whatever one you want. This knob right here will change the tune. And so if you're in AM, you can just manually change it that way. AM, FM, Sirius Satellite, whatever you are on, that's how it works. And then obviously this screen, um, you can go to audio, you can go to the phone, you can connect your phone, navigation, your favorites. That's just got a lot of stuff in there. Apps, you can download apps, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all that stuff. Settings and features, you can you know change driver assistant, zone lighting, towing, and then you can access your owner's manual as well. They don't come with an actual owner's manual in the glove box. You either have to download it on your phone or you can find it right here. So that's how you use that. Now let's go to the shifter. Um, this is the shifter right here. You have to press this button right here to move it. Um, this button right here, if you press it, your shifter goes down. And then press again, it goes up and uh, isn't hid. This is for manual shifting. If you press this, you'll be able to manually shift. I believe it has to be in drive. So right now it goes to manual one and then um, these buttons right here, if you press that, manual two, manual one. So right now, since we're not driving, you can only go up from one to two, but that's how you do that if you want to do the manual shift. Put it back in park. Um, these right here aren't buttons, but that is your 12 volt um, power source and then your AC 120 volt power source as well. And then back here as well, we have a power source right there, and then two down there as well. And then over here, we have a, a USB port um, for Android, and then just a regular USB port, and a USB port for Apple. I think it's a lightning cable connector or something like that. I'm not really sure. And then you can close that just like that. And open it back up like that. So I think I got all the buttons down. I'm going to show you um, the buttons on the exterior of the vehicle really quick. Okay, so we got these right here. And this is to unlock or lock your car if you don't have the key. If you've never programmed this before, you're going to go into your glove box. You're going to find this. This is your master key. So you're going to go over here. And you're going to put the code in. So zero, six, four, eight, three. And from there, you're going to press one, two, and then put in a code. Again, we put the code in, 06483. From there, you push one of these. There's five presets. So if I press this, this is gonna be preset one, preset two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna press this one, then I have to put a code in within five seconds, and then press this button again. So we're gonna put the code in as 97850. So we're going to press this, 97850, press it again. But it timed out, so we're going to have to put the code in again. So 06483. So we're going to do this, 97850. Okay, so now we got that set. So we go 97850, it's going to unlock. So that's how you do it. Um, if we want to do second code, we'll do 06483. We're going to do this one. And we're going to do 080808. 
8 and press that. So now we go 0, 8, 0, 8, 0, 8, and it unlock and locks. So that's how you use that.